Good morning, everybody. JD here, October 9th, 2021, coming to you live from the shores of beautiful Lake Tahoe. Last week, I did a video on how Taylor Creek, the main spawning tributary for Lake Tahoe's brown trout and kokanee in the fall, was completely dry. So our guides association made a few calls and a little bit of water started trickling out. And it was really cool because I was actually standing there, didn't think anything was going to happen. And the water started flowing as I was there. If you want to check that video out, go to my YouTube channel, which is Fish with JD at YouTube, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so fast forwarding to today, it looked like there were going to be no kokanee spawning in Taylor Creek at all. U.S. Forest Service had the uh, their, their dam up at Fallen Leaf Lake, which controls the water into the creek, was blocked by beaver dam. They had low water to begin with. They're concerned with a, an aquatic species removal project down here in the estuary that they didn't want to overflow with water. So a lot of challenges facing getting kokanee and browns up the creek. And those kokanee support a huge sport fishing industry here. Not only the charter boats, but tons of people come up here in the summer to fish kokanee. You come out here in July or August, there's a million boats fishing for kokanee. So it really has an economic impact on this area. So I was concerned that if the kokanee didn't spawn this year, three years from now, there would be a big void to fill. So anyway, various calls went to US Forest Service, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, and lo and behold, things are getting done. So what I want to show you is pretty exciting. So that's Mount Talac. What we have here is Taylor Creek. Breach the sandbar and it's flowing out into the lake. It's not a huge flow, but it's a flow. And if you'll notice right here at my feet, Obviously, it's attracted from kokanee. So the kokanee, which have been holding offshore here for quite a while, can swim through this gap pretty tight, and they probably do it at night when there's uh, fewer predators around to nab them as they cut through that little cut. And then, much like the Klamath River, only in miniature, the river cuts through a sandbar, goes around the corner, and then up here is a lagoon. So let's go have a look. This was all dry just a uh, few short days ago. towards the estuary here and see if you can see more fish. I'm not exactly piled in here yet, but this just happened. Nice way on up through here. Well, hopefully we'll have a good kokanee spawn this year. Water's still low, but it's at least uh, spawnable now. Water temps are coming down, it's cold out. So uh, might actually get a uh, decent return in three years. So just want to give a shout out to the US Forest Service folks who went up and cleaned out the beaver dams on Longleaf Dam. And uh, also CDFW personnel, including Mitch Lockhart and others. So uh, good job, everybody. Let the spawn begin. 